What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys. This is a little bit of a fix Zilla, but I'm not really fixing anything here. This is kind of like an end result, show you what I did type of video. Not that I've done videos like this before. I actually filmed a fix Zilla where I did some panel lining and went over. Still didn't really do anything uh, actual fixing here with the upgrade kit on Hound there, but I wanted to show you guys, and I did it the other way where I was kind of doing stuff and I just hated the way that video came up. I actually went full on, uploaded it, did a thumbnail, <laughs> all that, and now I've chucked it. Uh, and it's super late here, it's almost 3 a.m., but I really just want to show you guys uh, more properly. And I got Bumblebee here because at the end of the day I did some work on Bumblebee as well. Now. First off, let me show you what I used here. I used two Gundam markers, uh, one that I always use on robots. Now, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. Um, I just, you just started doing this stuff recently with Zoids, I guess this past summer. Uh, but I've done a, a few now, and I, I kind of dig in and I feel like, I don't know. I like doing it. I like doing it on the bots. I think it looks very cool. This particular fine line uh, Gundam mark has been... The one I've used the most. Um, I like that it's, you know, creates a nice rusty effect. I think that's cool. And then uh, I found this this marker came with uh, some like metallic markers I got, but I haven't even used the metallic markers yet on anything. Um, it's got a more felt like tip to it. And this really, I don't know, again, I don't know exactly what these are used for perfectly, except for a plastic model. Um, but I felt like it creates that sort of like dirty effect that a lot of people seem to get with um, shoe polish. Like when I'm like, look at my fingers. When I'm like, you, when I was using it, it really rubs off nicely on it. So that's what I use. And then as the title of the video suggests, I did the Dr. Wu DW M06 Veteran Upgrade Kit on Hound. Now, I am not going to be um, transforming Hound, so I'm not going to be showing you this fully. This is why this is not a review. Um, and, you know, it's not even a fixilla. It's kind of, again, overview. It comes with a knife. It comes with this, like, rifle. And it comes with the Gatling gun, which is right there, which transforms into the hatch of the Jeep. But since I've done like all this kind of like paint work on it, I'm not gonna be, this is how I want the figure. And this is why this is not like a full review either. It comes with feet. Now, this was supposed to come with a, um, like kind of like a couple bonus things, which was like his little cigar, bullet cigar, and, um, a pair of dog tags. I feel like I got those and I misplaced them, but I, I did not, you know, they weren't in this box and everything else was. So I don't know if I just got screwed out of them. I've got, I got this so long ago that I, you know, at the top of this year that, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. I can't really say. They're just the great little pieces of plastic, uh, not really worth mentioning. Uh, he doesn't even hold it well in his mouth from what I've seen in other videos. Um, this thing though has been, this box is nice and sturdy and has been uh, the, this here, have you seen, seen it before, is where my figures stand at the top of all my reviews, you know. Uh, this way I don't have to move my, my tripod. So I love this box. <laughs> But it wasn't until uh, my review of Twin Tail today that I'm like, I had something clicked on me that I really should use this. And, um, and then while researching my Ultraman Jack here for a review, which I was going to do right after, I um, I don't know. I, I had upgraded him earlier after that, and then tonight I was going to do this. I just started panel lining on that guy just because like my eyes started hurting. I guess getting I was getting tired and I don't know. I just kind of just started doing this. <laughs> so let me show you what I did with B here. I added some of the blacks 
which really creates a nice dirty effect, especially look on the windows, like that really looks cool. Um, the thing I really like about panel lining with both of these is just kind of, you know, nothing is symmetrical. It doesn't have to be dirt and rust. Um, do not have to be. And I didn't get, get to show you guys this fully here. Uh, there's still more I want to do with this one. Uh, but I really like this look way more than the the not panel lined and dirtied up. I think this just looks way better than it did. Um, it was just super clean. And I just, I feel like all these figures should have some dirt on it. I mean, this is why I'm enjoying this line. I'm going to be enjoying this line even more because I don't think if they make a studio series of hand, I don't know if I'm going to get it because they're going to have to do something like this for me to, to want. It. And maybe they will. So, hey. So, let's check this guy out and uh, what we got here. Um, starting with his feet, I did uh, dirty up his feet, uh, which is, you know, I think it adds a nice look to it, especially since they're like tires and stuff. Um, so, pretty cool there. They are pretty loose. They do have these little uh, clips that just kind of clip into the bottom. Um, so it's not like the easiest thing. I will do something to it since I'm not going to be transforming this guy. I will do something to it. Um, I haven't decided what yet, so I don't want to include it here. But either, you know, just some glue tack to hold it in place, or I might just glue it. Um, but that's how those look, way better than the originals, um, which are just, you know, now his heel spur, which works so much better like that. So, you know, those are in the back. These are the new feet. That's pretty awesome looking. He comes with this knife, which is really nice, nice silver. Um, very, very cool. And the hilt is just in green. The, the green plastic, like it looks better in person than it does on camera. You could pick up on camera that it's not the same shade of green, but in person, it's like to my naked eye, it's a lot better than this looks. Um, I don't know. He also comes with this rifle here, which is pretty cool. It's done in like a warm gray. Nice sculpt. Really nice, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, he's just going to be holding this, so I'm not going to really use it. But you can stick it like this if you want. Maybe it might look a little awkward. I did just see, and this doesn't come with any directions, that these, these tabs here... I don't know if this will fit, but I think that the foot just fell off. That would be a nicer spot. Let me see. Mm, I don't think so. It's like almost there. Uh, but anywho, it's totally fine there. Foot, yeah, foot. See how I'm saying? It's there, and it's just very thin there. Um, just clips in friction friction and of course he comes with this Gatling gun which is very nice this rotates these are on hinges here which is cool same color as the um, the rifle and uh, it's got some like nice little handle here on a ball joint just cool on the back, that thing goes back and forth. It's really nice, actually. You do stick in this little gun clip, uh, but it's got on really thin, thin hinges, so I'm a little worried about that breaking. Um, but, you know, again, I'm not gonna be doing much with this guy, uh, except for having him stand in my display. And he looks pretty cool with everything. That's, yeah, that, that's a big problem. Um, but there you go. And, you know, as far as his, you know, work, I, you know, I put in a lot of different uh, blacks and stuff. 
probably gonna go over uh, things with like you know a Q-tip, smooth some things out, you know, add some more. That's the thing with like stuff like this. You could go on for a long time. I even added some of that rust in his beard. I don't know how well you can tell, but I felt like it needed it. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it's at quick glance, it definitely gives off a more dirty look than it not being. So I definitely dig with the upgrade kit and uh, some of the dirtiness and panel lining and the dirtiness of my panel lining. <laughs> I think that's really cool. Um, you know, I like it way more than I did before, for sure. So, you know, this is not really anything more than just, I'm just showing you what I did. <laughs> I am filing it under Fixzilla. Um, hopefully that's not too crazy. I will put in the description, you know, don't expect a, like a super fix here or a transformation of anything. Um, so, but I do like the kit for what it does aesthetically to Hound, even if it's not perfect um in robot mode so and i would you suggest to you go check out mgo's video because he does show if you are interested in this and you haven't seen it yet this transformed it is cool that it does transform it's very nice and comes into and makes a nice little backpack uh for him not a backpack but like a little canopy for the jeep mode which is nice and you know bumblebee i think is looking pretty cool too so there you go guys that's all I got for uh, this particular Fixzilla. Just wanted to show you what I did tonight. Uh, I think that's that's a fine thing for a video. <laughs> Why not? Uh, hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts on any of this stuff. And until next time, peace out, peeps.